probably choose those events that had the biggest impact on me as an athlete and I guess as a person as well um, for very different reasons and covering a massive amount of time. Um, I think my first big memory of athletics and the first star in my own mind was um, Lillian Board in 1969. I watched her um, win a fantastic 800 metre race um, and then she went on to anchor the relay and came back from what looked like um, an obvious second place to to, to win. Um, it was just a stunning last lap um, and a brilliant double gold and um, I just was fascinated by her. I loved watching her run. Um, she was very beautiful. Um, she captured the hearts and, uh, of the British public and I thought wow if that's what running's like I want to be a runner. Um, and then of course I followed her very um, sad and, and tragic um, illness and, and early death from, from cancer. But she really um, did make an impression on a young young girl as I was then and it wasn't long after that that I put my name down um, to join an athletics club so she would have to be my my first influence um, my second big memory are the Olympics of 1972 um, my parents went out and got a colour tv especially for the event um, we were big sports fans and um, we sat glued to the television watching um, the 72 Olympics in colour um, my memories from that are the men's 5,000 metres um, and Ian Stewart um, coming through at the very last minute to overtake Steve Prefontaine, who was and still is one of America's um, best loved distance runners, and to get the bronze medal and then being so monumentally fed up about getting the bronze medal. And I think that taught me a lot about um, the will to win and the value of winning. Um, and that third, certainly for Ian, that day was just not good enough at all. And of course, in those Olympics too, was um, the wonderful Dame Mary Peters, who um, again was a, a nation's sweetheart during those championships and, um, and won the gold medal. She uh, went on to be my team manager in 1984. So um, she was just um, a wonderfully calm team manager in what for me in 84 was a very stressful situation building up to the Olympics with all the Zolabud stuff that had gone on before. So um, 1972 Olympics, definitely for, for all of those reasons. Then um, 1980, uh, I think probably I'm one of many to remember the Olympics from 1980 and uh, the rivalry between Steve Ovette and Sebastian Coe. Um, I think my biggest memory from all of that was Seb coming back having lost the 800 meters to win the 1500. I think because I knew him very well at that time and um, we were at Loughborough University together and you could just see the pain and disappointment when he got beaten in the 800, um, really just making a, a tactical mistake and getting too detached and, and Steve who wasn't supposed to win the 800, had won, won the 800, which was Seb's event. Um, Seb managed to pull himself together, get over his disappointment, come out and, and win the, the 1500. And it was um, a fantastic victory. And the image of him crossing the line is um, one that many, many of us have seen over the years, but, but that really stuck with me. I just missed out on the 1980 Olympic team myself, um, having, finished second in the trial but not run quite fast enough so that Olympic Games for lots of reasons the Coevet rivalry and um, wishing I was there I suppose really. Um, then um, my next one would be 1983 and the inaugural World Championships in Helsinki. Um, I'd made the team for the 1500 and 3000 and um, was running the best I'd ever run um, and was excited to be there um, on the first big global championships. But my big memory from that will be Greta Weitz winning the women's marathon. Um, she'd unfortunately grown up in, in an era where the events in championships weren't always long enough for her and were dominated by um, Eastern Bloc, um, so the 1500. And, and finally, um, in Helsinki, there was a, a women's marathon. Um, Greta was a friend of mine, um, a hero of mine, and um, 
I really wanted her to win that marathon and have that global title. And um, she did it as always um, in great style. So that was um, a wonderful um, memory for me. I'm just sad I couldn't go out onto the streets because I still had all my running to do. <laughs> um, then the next one will be, um, I think kind of moving fast forward to uh, 2008 and um, the Olympics in Beijing. The, um, the build up to the men's 100 meters final had been extraordinary and I'd landed in Beijing that morning and managed to get a ticket at the, above the finish line at the top of the bird's nest um, and witnessed Usain Bolt break the world record and win the 100 meters title uh, and that was fantastic and there followed then um, championship after championship year after year of fantastic Usain Bolt um, performances um, and he's been a real superstar in our sport and I was privileged to witness um, that particular event, but also many after that, which um, just captivated um, the audiences that watched him and um, did wonders for our sport. Uh, and then I guess a little bit closer to home will be, of course, Super Saturday. Um, there were lots of reasons for this. Um, I was lucky enough to have tickets um, with my friends and family. So my sister, my son, my best friend, we were all there and we watched um, Super Saturday unfold. But I think the most powerful memory from Super Saturday was Jess Ennis in uh, the 800 metres. Um, she'd won the event. She'd um, lived up to her uh, reputation as, as the face of those Olympic Games. Um, but she really ran that 800 meters with her heart and um it was just fabulous to watch her run so hard when she actually probably didn't need to um and that just proved what a superstar she was is and um i can remember seeing her coach the next day as i was walking around the stadium and i said you know that was just one of the most amazing performances just having just watching her run that 800 the way she did um was was a fabulous memory and um, I also remember that day that we all um, went back to the Athletes Hotel and um, had some champagne because it was truly a fan fabulous day in um, British sport. So yeah, that's my last one. <laughs>